हरे कृष्णा गॉड इज द सुप्रीम कंट्रोलर बट नॉट द सोल कंट्रोलर समटाइम्स पीपल से दैट वॉट एवरीथिंग दैट हैपन्स इज गॉड्स विल वाई सच अ स्टेटमेंट मे सीम टू indicate their faith in god their unquestioned devotion to god but such a statement denies the complexity of reality in the world everything that happens is sanctioned by god but it is not necessarily desired by god in the bhagavad gita 13th chapter 23rd verse it is said upadrashta anumanta cha bharta bhokta maheshwara परमात्मे तिचाप्युक्तो देहे स्मिन पुरुष परा सो इट सेज दैट द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड द सुपर सोल द परमात्मा इज वॉट उपद्रष्टा अनुमंता च इज द ओवर सीयर एंड द परमिटर दिस मीन्स दैट वॉट एवर हैपन्स इन द वर्ल्ड सम ऑफ इट मे बी वॉट गॉड डिजायर्स इफ द पीपल आर एक्टिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू गॉड्स विल बट इफ द पीपल वॉन्ट टू एक्ट इन डिफायंस ऑफ इज विल then he allows them if he allows people to do whatever he wants then how is he in control at all that is explained in another verse of the gita 9.6 it is said that yatha aakash sthito nityam vayu sarvatra go mahan tatha sarvani bhutani matsthani te upadharaya there it is said that just as the wind which blows mightily in various directions still stays within the sky similarly all living beings exist within krishna's will that means krishna's will governs the area of our movement not the specific movement that we do krishna has given each one of us free will and by our past karma he has given each one of us particular area in which to execute that free will to exercise that free will so some people by their past karma may be very powerful in this life and within the area of their power if they desire to abuse that power then krishna allows that to happen so for example when duryodhana tried to disrobe draupadi try to dishonor and disrobe draupadi it was not that krishna's desire that his devotee be dishonored like that it is duryodhana's evil desire and because duryodhana by his past karma had royal authority for some time he within the area of his free will could do that grievous wrong of course if we do wrong sooner or later we will have to bear the consequences of our actions and duryodhana also bore those consequences when he was defeated and destroyed in the kurukshetra war so god is the supreme controller in the sense that nothing happens without his sanction and whoever can do anything the capacity to act within that area is given by him, by god to them that person but god is not responsible for the misdeeds that people do because they have their free will and they act accordingly by that understanding that god is not the sole controller we can ensure that when bad things happen to us we don't blame god for it rather than and if we think that god is the sole controller then we will start thinking that god is the cause of our suffering and that may alienate us from god but god is never the cause of our suffering he is the cure for our suffering no matter how many problems come in our life because of whichever person if we take shelter of krishna he can deliver us from those problems machitta sarva durgani mat prasada tarishasi we become conscious of him he will enable us to cross over all obstacles thus by understanding that god is the supreme controller not the sole controller we can find out how best we can act according to his will within the situation that we find ourselves in thank you hare krishna